what's the difference between sketching and drawing? I don't know if there's a formally recognised distinction, but for me, the main difference is I think of sketching as a faster, brisker, more gestural way of recording a scene using a pen or a pencil or whatever media we happen to be using. And I think this corner apartment block in Edinburgh is a wonderful example of architecture to sketch. The most important thing I think with a quick sketch is to get the things correct that visually we're going to notice most. And in a scene such as this, that's going to be the perspective angles because the way the windows line up and the viewpoint of this particular apartment means that we have these strong diagonals that go from the upper right down towards the lower left that fan out in a very clear pattern. So we want to capture this pattern of the angles as accurately as possible because if we get it wrong, that will be something that stands out far more than if we don't get one of the windows quite right or one of the chimneys quite the right height. So the other thing with, with a quick sketch is that we're, we're really going to be gestural and sometimes it's easier to catch the feel of something using the shadows rather than trying to draw the actual outlines of the structure. And with windows, that can often be the case. And so I'm actually defining the windows and the space behind the glass and the shadows of the insets for the windows using shadow more than I am using outline. And it's also a fairly fast way often of creating a very effective uh, appearance of the form that we're drawing. So the, the emphasis though, the emphasis though is on keeping our speed going. This drawing took me 30 minutes in real time to draw. And in my mind, that's the sort of time which is quite a good time if I was sitting in the street or sitting in uh, a window of a building across the road and drawing this scene on location. Whenever I do what I think of as sketching, I liken it to if I were in location doing this same thing. How would I capture it? What lines would I use? Of course, drawing directly in ink is a great time saver because we have no chance to erase anything. So we're not tempted to or wondering whether we should or shouldn't. You'll notice with these bushes at street level that I've just really captured the outliner. It's really more about reserving the space for them while I then draw the architecture down to them. And I find in a quick sketch, it's particularly important to still try and remember that we want to create different marks for different objects, different surfaces. Obviously with architecture, we're going to have lots of fairly straight lines. And I don't know how obvious it is, but I am holding my pen very loosely so that I can do fairly fast gestural lines, particularly the relatively short, fast lines that, that we have with art drawing architecture at this scale. So when it comes to these bushes and shrubs, visually they're going to provide a lot of contrast to the architecture. They'll make the architecture look even straighter and more precise by, by visual contrast. So I do want to capture the feel of them, but at this point I'm really just reserving space for them. You can see they're just a dotted outline and to make sure I don't draw a building where I want branch to be. So I just put, I ran that dotted line down the side there just to show me where I want to stop this scene so that I don't go too far with these horizontal perspective lines. And you'll notice that I am drawing guidelines for where the tops and bottoms of the windows are because I think this is the most effective way of getting the perspective angles accurate. And the fact that some of those guidelines may be a little bit apparent afterwards, since we can't erase them, I think is a lot less of a problem than if we tried to do it totally freehand with every window and had the windows all lined up with slightly different perspectives to each other. And again, I'm just doing these casement, um, not casement, just doing these sash windows. And I'm trying to reflect the fact that the lower window does look set back slightly to the upper one from this view. Again, just reserving space for the, the large shrubs that are under. And 
now starting to work on some of the more peripheral details. And we'll start on the roof line. So at this point now, I'm halfway through my drawing time. I've just taken 15 minutes to do what's been done here. So the rest of the drawing will be done in 15 minutes. And it's certainly an observation of mine that I move much faster in the second half of the drawing. Most of the hard work of this drawing has now been done because it's to do with aligning the perspective angles and the proportions of the various elements and drawing the, the repeated elements that need to have some consistency about them. Once I'm drawing the lower part, the, the shrubs and the street level, it's a lot more uh, straightforward to rough that in, which again suits the sort of gestural feel of a sketch. I want to make sure that I don't start to slow down in my drawing as I get to the end because then I'm drawing lines with a different rhythm, with a different tempo. And I think this shows overall and it creates an inconsistency between various parts of my drawing. If some of them I drew very briskly and other parts I drew fairly laboriously and in more detail. So I am trying to keep the same pace. I am I am looking at the clock, wanting to keep this to 30 minutes overall because that was the, the pace I set with my first line work. And I need to start to make some commitment to how I'm going to draw these shrubs. The other thing, as well as wanting them to look different to the architecture, is I want them to look different to each other, at least in some measure, because they are different types of shrubs. The, if you like, the, the leafy texture that we see is different with each plant. And also the way the branches hang and the way the plants formed are different. And I want to try and capture that, albeit in a fairly brisk way. Because it really is the architecture that is the visually most significant part of this. It's, it's really a drawing of the building and the plants underneath it are, if you like, the support. So again, I'm also happy for them to have a slightly, slightly more relaxed, if you like, feel than the architecture because we're looking at them, if you like, second. So really going hard and fast now with hatching to render the very dark value of the shadows around the base of the shrubs. And I decide that I'll put the shade that's on the apartment buildings at this point, and that I'll use fairly light lines for this because I don't want, firstly, to obscure the detail that I have drawn. And secondly, the value of this area of shade is less than what we have uh, beneath the shrubs at the bottom of the drawing. So I want to keep the relative values of the different areas of shade and shadow as close to the original as I can. Having defined the tops of the shrubs, it's easy enough now to do the architecture coming down. And that, that window on the right-hand section, you'll see me add some more detail to it in the, the center of the bush. And so it's always good to try and still find time to include those sorts of details because they help make the bush look as though it's, it really is in front of the house. Creates a, a sense of 3D if we can see glimpses of something through something else. And I've just realized watching this that, that I actually have missed out some shadow that's being cast by the left-hand side of the building onto the right-hand side of the building just in the um, section where it joins there. Never mind. Now, again, with, with a sketch, this building that's further behind, I want to draw this really very quickly, just a couple of minutes to put this in completely. Very quick, even more gestural. And the whole thing basically is going to be in hatching, light hatching to represent the shade that it's in. But I want to get, I wonder if, if anything even exaggerate the shade where it comes up behind our building because that will help to push our building forward and make it seem more prominent. I could have left it out, but then our building's kind of floating in nowhere. And I feel that if we put a little bit of context in, even in a quick sketch, that it helps to anchor our scene in, in reality. And now I have this, uh, just the, the little bit down the front, I decide to leave out the car that I 
don't think it's going to add anything and so I have just to reinstate what we can't see from the car and at the last minute I make the lines a bit wobbly so I think I'll add a bit of hatch in to indicate stones and bricks just to try and make it look a little more organized and then the fairly quick gestural sketch is just about done I'm, I'm just working on some of these um, these shrubs the foliage again trying to have marks that create a, a bit of a sense of difference from shrub to shrub and then my 30 minute drawing is done pretty much there g'day i'm stephen travis look i hope you found this interesting i hope you'd like to have a go at drawing it i'll post this image on my channel community page so if you want to draw it you can it's my photo so i can happily give you permission uh, and see how you go doing a quick fairly brisk sketch of this Edinburgh apartment and try doing it directly in ink so that there's no time taken wondering whether to erase a line but just keep pushing forward and see what sort of a lively drawing we get at the end of it eh but look whatever you draw and however you draw it Make sure you have fun. I'll see you next time. Bye.